round it off to four significant figures. Not necessary. If you think you are confident to key in everything correctly, you key in everything. Negative, negative. 
Okay? 4 times 3, 12. 12 times 7, 84. Divided by 2 times negative 7 is negative 14. Okay? If we simplify this a bit more, 16 minus 84 is 68, but it is negative. Okay? So this is the first time beans still ordering chicken wings. Okay, this is the first time we encounter something negative inside your square root. But there is no number, no real number that after you square can become negative. So, square root of negative number don't have any real solutions. Okay? No matter what number times what number, times itself. If I have positive 2, times positive 2, a number multiplied by itself, I will get positive 4. But if I have negative 2, multiplied by itself, negative number multiplied by itself will also become positive. So there is no real number that multiplies by itself that will give you a negative value. Okay? So when we want to take square root of a positive number, it can be 2. It can also be negative 2. But if we want to take square root of negative number, there isn't any real solution. Okay? So when we have negative values inside the square root, we have to say no real solution. Okay? So for part H, you have to say the answer is no real solution. Okay? There is no X. There is no real X that when you put inside this equation, you can make the left hand side zero. That is what it means by no real solution. Okay? For all the above, all the before examples that we did, when we find out what is x, the value of x when you put inside the equation, the left hand side, you can simplify it until it equals to zero. But for this equation, no matter what x you put here, left hand side will never be zero. That is why they say no real solution. Okay? So the question actually will tell you also. State no solutions if there are no solutions.